Look at that. The smoke is cleared. This is the first day we've seen the sky in about two weeks. Winds kicked up last night and the uh, hopefully you can hear me. Blew all the smoke out. I'm out at the grass dump today. You can see I've, I dump. You know, that's me. I'm the only one that dumps out here. A um, little update on the 2020 setup. So obviously that's the mow truck. I don't I don't run this truck. This is the truck the mow crew runs. Uh, running the 2020, I just picked this up. It's a 6x12 trailer, but that's the inside dimension. It's actually a seven and a half foot trailer if you count the, the side steps. They're, uh, I think they're nine inch steps, so yeah, I think seven and a half. It might be seven. Nah, those are wider than six inches. But, but anyway, so a six by 12 trailer. Yeah, I put, I like this little jungle gym blower rack. You, just, you can lock that if you want. We don't lock it, there's no reason. Um, that makes it easy just to come up here. I like it being right in the middle on the tongue. So you can come regardless of which side of the street you're parked on. You can grab the hand blower since that's what we use for 99% of our blow offs. Um, the five gallon can is just, just an equipment defender. Five gallon can. I like this guy. Yeah, you got the, the pull pin and this just flips up. And then you take the can up for your thing. That gets screwed in there that way. That's not coming out. Uh, this is just the ladder rack. We use it for a cone rack. Uh, it's got three hand tool uh, slots on this side, which I need to put in there. Yeah, I was just dumping that. Hate that bag, but that's changing. I'm just waiting on my accelerator bag, the new accelerator bag for the Husky to come in. So we got three on this side, three on the other side. Like I said, six by 12, so the way we're loaded up, Husky 48, Grandstand 36, Turfmaster 30. Now this is just how we're running to finish the season out. This is nothing, uh, 2021 is going to be different, not much different than now, but it's going to be different. It'll be cool. Uh, I know exactly what I'm doing next year, but the six by 12 trailer, now the Grandstand rolled back a little bit. There's more room. I can... I can pull that up farther. I need to put a brace in there. I can see there's that much gap to get the 36 up to the 48. So, and you can see like for the Turf Master, I have a jungle gym boot over there. I love those little boots for the push mowers. Holds it in, doesn't go anywhere, no matter how I'm driving. Uh, standard gate. On this side, you got your trimmer racks. Now the trimmer racks will come with the Eagle trailer allow the trimmer to spin you know what it doesn't bother me I was uh, I, I've got some thoughts on well it doesn't matter anyway that comes with the trailer I like it I'm going with it on this side I have the two and a half gallon equipment defender rack the goal was to keep everything the only thing in the trailer is mowers that's the only thing going on that floor so we got Two and a half gallon there that's the mixed tank that's why it's on this side it's right by the trimmer so you can just get it and go the five gallon tank on the other side isn't used that often or i could have put it there but i just didn't see the point because usually i fill the mowers up on monday and or sunday that's what i'm gonna do after here so it's they're fueled up for a, a new week and the five gallon is really just a go-to oh crap can for the 30. Uh, another equipment defender rack that's just my BR600 and that you know well it's not locked because the guys have used it this week I need to lock it up but that sits in there like that plenty secure I like how everything is low pro down on the trailer I don't have a bunch of racks and shit sticking up here excuse my language up there in the way so it's all wobbling around and for the world to see uh, like I said, three more racks over here, so it's just a leaf rake and a spade. Uh, the other side was just a rake, and a, a rake, a rock rake and a flat shovel. And then, like I said, we're back over here to this. Here's the um, here's the toolbox. We'll open that in a second. And then this is just a top cage. It's just a bag of dirt. Usually keep a little bag of seed there in case somebody scalps something and needs to throw down a little emergency 
seed. And then here we just pull that up. So that's the tool cage. Really nothing in there. Some oils, starter fluid, stuff like that in case there's something going on. Set of come alongs, a uh, little shovel, some trimmers, uh, an extra head for the, I don't have the uh, Echo PAS on here, but the, the PAS 2620 sits right there. And it's got the blade edger attachment on it right there, but there's the trimmer attachment just in case something were to go wrong and they need a, a second trimmer moving or a backup, something happens to the 262. Which by the way, the trimmer is a Shindawa 262, T262, which is my favorite trimmer. I like, the, I like that cage. Obviously you can put a padlock in there if you want to. Uh, I like having the mesh up here in the tongue so you can set stuff there while you're working. Uh, when I, I've taken this out to do fertilizing a few times and just have the permagreen on it. And I'll throw, I'll have fertilizer bags up there. I'll throw a couple fertilizer bags down here. And I can drive all around town. Don't have to worry about them rolling out or anything. They're fertilizer. Ain't like they're moving. Uh, but anyway, guys, I just want to give an update on the 2021 end of season, I guess, set up as we uh, close her out. So I'm still just running one mow crew. And then I'm out with the other, with the silver truck and the other, the older trailer. But I'm just running, I keep a 30 on there for a backup in case I'm out on the road and they have a breakdown and need a 30, I can get to them quicker. But I just do fertilizing now for the most part and other types of jobs, you know, trimmings or that, that type of extra work. Air right now, I'm doing a lot of aerating and overseeding along with, uh, along with my round fives. But I run with the Permagreen and my uh, Ryan Lawn Air and just a spare 30 on there in case the guys need me to get to them. So this is the mowing setup, which uh, like I said, it's just for 2020. Uh, next year it's gonna, the spring's gonna kick off with a different setup. It's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, anyway guys, thanks for checking it out. I just wanted to show that since I had, uh, I was out here dumping grass and you can see a little white tape there on the grandstand. I was, I just picked it up from the shop on my way out here to dump grass because I had to get this this whole bar and everything replaced it broke right here at this weld i know i've showed a picture of it before so we just replaced a bunch of stuff in there but anyway there we go and uh thanks for watching and you guys have a good weekend later